It's Tuesday, December 16th. Tonight, a class incorporates STEM skills while teaching robotics and game design. Next on North Carolina Now. Quality public television is made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNC-TV. Good evening, I'm Erica Stark-Knight. Thanks for joining us. Tonight on North Carolina Now, we're focusing on education as we look at two programs offering students specialized educational opportunities, and we'll talk with North Carolina's Superintendent of the Year. But we begin in Wake County. North Carolina education leaders say our jobs of the future will be increasingly STEM-related. That means focused on science, technology, engineering, and math. But all too often, students lose interest in those types of subjects. Now, an innovative program is helping students discover just how fun a career in science and math can be. Kelly McHenry has details. Racing Robo Gators. Now that is fun. These students built them as part of STEM for Kids, an innovative program designed to bring out a child's natural desire to learn. Here, they not only design robots, they create their very own video games. So the missiles are trying to get this um, guy that it's running all the way um, back and like going to the castle and it's coming back to the, this land and if if he succeeds without any damage he wins wow what does he win does he win points yeah he wins points and eventually he he'll um he gets to buy like upgrades for his thing like he he actually can shoot the missiles wow amazing you have to i love the base that you've created this is the inspiration of moni singh a computer science engineer by trade, she was born in India and worked for several top firms in the United States. But it was teaching her own two children about science that got the ball rolling, figuring out how to make a strong bridge out of nothing but a piece of paper. Their first design couldn't even hold one pencil. And then we kept working on it, and then eventually they came to a design where that same single piece of paper could now hold 20 pencils, and it was still holding strong. And their eyes just lit up. They were totally amazed. How is it possible? And, um, and that, that, that spark that I noticed in their eyes at that time, that, that was just truly inspirational and you know, got me started with STEM for Kids. The truth is she looked around for science programs for her kids and couldn't find any. So she said, I'll just start one myself. This program, located at the Church of the Nazarene in North Raleigh, offers after-school, track-out, and summer camps, all designed to make science and math fun. The excitement that they have uh, and just the fun that they have when they, uh, they work on their projects and then they take a break and they go into our worship center, which is also a gymnasium. And uh, then they kick the ball around and they laugh and they have fun and then they come back. And some of the projects they have created is just amazing. Um, they're working with forces and gravity. They're working on computer programming. They're making their own computer games. They're building robots. So there are a lot of different things that they're doing but we are doing it in a simple way. One summer program allowed them to join forces with engineers at Galero Biomedical in Durham. Their mission? To design a better plastic spoon. They researched it, built a clay model, and then 3D printed it. It was a hit. Science is really fun. It's a really good rising career. It is a good rising career. North Carolina has about 400,000 STEM-related jobs, and experts say more than 70,000 new ones will be created by the year 2020. As well, they're good jobs, paying about 64% more on average. But North Carolina has a problem with STEM careers. Many companies report they can't fill open positions because they can't find qualified workers to do the job. 
and experts point to a disturbing trend that even though children seem interested in math and science when they're young, as they get older, they turn away from STEM careers. The Research Triangle Foundation says that's because children never get to meet people who actually do these cutting edge jobs, especially young girls. Women are underrepresented in science and technology careers. In fact, Singh says she was one of only three women out of 120 students in her engineering class. And national figures show only one in four STEM jobs is held by a woman. A nonprofit launched a STEM for Kids program in Rollsville aimed at getting middle school girls fired up about science. And it is just amazing to see their interest in math and science and technology grow as they begin to work with um, the robotics and work on the computers. When they graduated that first session and they were demonstrating the robots that they built to their parents. You could just see the smiles on their faces, their parents' faces, and I think that session changed them, you know, exposed them to something that's gonna make them work a little harder in school, be a, more, a little more interested in the science and math. That won't come too soon. The U.S. Department of Commerce estimates that by 2018, more than 1.2 million STEM jobs will go unfilled. Singh says STEM education can be challenging, why she says you need to get students excited about it so they have the fortitude to finish. I remember my engineering um, schooling. First year is, is, is not so easy. It does take a lot of persistence to go through those initial years. Um, and th that's, where the, uh, that's where getting them early is so important because what we want to do is get that intrinsic motivation. You know, when you know that, yes, I see what the future looks like, I want to do it, I will go through whatever these hurdles are. It's like a new world. Singh also says a crucial part of this program is making STEM real, designing experiments to solve real life problems, not to just get a grade on a test. She says children instinctively learn when they're working toward a tangible goal. If they are learning a concept of air in the science theme, why are we learning about it? Because, you know, when you grow up, you might become an aerospace engineer. <laughs> Best friends Sophie and Chloe were definitely having fun designing their own video game. Okay, so we're doing a mythical world and we're going to like make the trees orange. Like the trees maybe on one side and then the robots on the other and... Oh, so you have robots? Oh yeah, yeah there's like there's a rover like, and there's, you know, um, stuff like that. Yeah, there's and, a bunch of yeah, robots. Yeah, we can color them and stuff. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Making science, technology, engineering, and math fun. That is STEM for Kids' mission, to get students hooked on a future career that's growing and good paying, just the way Moni Singh did as a computer science engineer. I felt it was very empowering. I felt like I was creating something totally new. Um, I felt like I was learning a lot, um, uh, you know, uh, new materials. I felt like I was working in teams. Um, and all those things were great for me. It's a no-brainer. Take kids, add computer games and robots, and then let their brains engage. With robotics and computers expected to play an ever bigger part in the economy of our future, STEM for Kids aims to help our future leaders find out for themselves that science careers are just plain fun. I like computers and I think computers are really fun to experiment with and play with. It doesn't matter which field you're going to, you are going to be using the STEM skills that come with it. And for more information on STEM for Kids, visit our website.